I was working with my editor Davis, and I got a phone call from this number that I didn't know. And immediately, I felt my heart start to race. I felt this adrenaline pumping. And I, I go into the next room. I pick up the call, and it's on the other line. It says, "Hi, this is Chase calling about your credit card." I ended up hanging up the call. A couple of hours go by. And I get another phone call from a blocked phone number. The woman on the other line says, "Hi, I'm Shari calling from Sundance," and my heart stopped completely. My name is Jeff Orlowski, and I'm the director of Chasing Ice, which is competing in the U.S. documentary competition Sundance 2012. James Baylog is a National Geographic photographer. He was trying to photograph the climate change story, and he came up with this camera system that he designed and built that could withstand negative. Uh, 40 degree temperatures and 200 mile an hour winds. And through a friend of mine, I got connected to James, and he took me on the very first trip. I went with him to Iceland in March of 2007, and I froze my butt off in some of the coldest conditions I've ever been in. I just started following him around, helping him install the cameras, but mostly just documenting everything. We didn't know what we were going to do with the video footage. We had no real purpose or intention at the start, but we just knew that we needed to capture his story and, and preserve it just in case something happened with it. After a year of following him around, we, we had all this footage and we had his time lapses that were starting to be developed, and we knew that we had a story there. We spent weeks camping out on the Greenland ice sheet. Literally, you have to take like four different plane flights to a helicopter to get dropped off in the middle of the ice sheet, and you're there alone with no, like, no safety net for weeks on end. And that's where James went to cover his story, and that's where we went to follow him. He was once a skeptic about climate change. He didn't think that it was real for a, a bunch of reasons. But after he saw what was going on with the ice, he set out to do the extreme ice survey, and now he has the most visual evidence of climate change that's ever been made. He'll push himself to literally the edge of a moulin where there's thousands of gallons of water rushing into a hole, and he'll take a photograph at the edge of, his, of the safety line that, as far as he can possibly go. This is visual evidence. This is what's, what's going on that you can't deny. Once you see his images, that is the record of what's happening on this planet.